You'll know my next guest from hit shows Stranger Things and Enola Holmes, as well as many other things. Now, Millie Bobby Brown is releasing her debut novel, 19 Steps, and joins me now in, in Kylie Red. Yeah. Hey, it's a theme. <laughs> it is so lovely to see you. It's really good to see and you. And congratulations too. on 19 Steps. Thank and it's you. it's a very special book to you, isn't it? Because it's stories that your well, your grand your grandparents told you. Yeah, yeah. My nan, uh, she told me these stories when I couldn't sleep at night and uh, I think for a while, and maybe until I was eight, I didn't think they were real. And then <laughs> I slowly realised that these were things that happened to her uh, sure. in her childhood during World War II. Gosh, it's, it's, it's astonishing stories and made all the more real because they are real. You know, yeah. that, that's the thing. Um, and obviously, Bethnal Green is a place, this is where it's set, is a place very close to your heart. Yeah. It's where my grandmother lived um, and I went there very frequently for summers and... I went there the other day. It was amazing just to go back and to reminisce um, on all that nostalgia. Oh, but so um, it's a really important place in, in, to her and to our whole family. And the stories are, you know, in, incredible. I love the fact it says it shines a brilliant light on a dark moment in history. Yeah. There is a lot of heartbreak in this, but what really shines through the book is that sense of hope. Because, of course, I always think we know that it turned out all right in the end. But people going through the war didn't know whether they were going to win or not. They didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah. yeah. I think there's a lot of love in the book. Yeah. Um, and something that my nan said uh, was when the war ended and Churchill's voice came through, um, she thought, because she was eight, that the world was ending. And everybody was on their knees looking up at the sky, crying. And she was like, is the world ending? And they said, no, the war is over. And uh, I think that sense of hope and love um, really transpires throughout the book. Definitely. Now, Millie. Reading this, it's very cinematic. Yeah. Has to be a film. Surely. Uh, Is that what you're hoping for? It's in my for? nature. <laughs> it's in my nature for sure. I, I think, know. yes, definitely that was the intention behind it. Um, yeah. You know, naturally, I just want to create more. So, um, of course. Yeah, this is a great foundation. No, exactly, because, I mean, you, you don't just do your job. Mm. I mean, you, you also produce. You're very much involved with everything that you do and yeah. always have been, and I think that's so important because you know, rather than just turning up a taxi for hire, you know, kind of thing, and just turning up and doing it, and yeah. that's fine, but it means so much more to you, doesn't it? I think I'm, yeah, very gravitated toward things that mean something to me. Yeah. Um, if that's me, you know, just more of a woman-centric role, if that's the book, mm. meaning about my grandmother, I'm, I'm very, very committed to uh, moving people with, yeah. with what I do. You're very young when you started doing it. I remember interviewing you, um, you know, obviously for Stranger Things and all yeah. of that. And what a huge... For Who is that wee tiny thing there? Who's that now? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You're adorable. I was, like, probably 12, 13. I think you, yeah, I think, I think you were, you yeah. know? And obviously, because of the writer's strike, we can't really talk about the shows. Of course we can't. But the thing is, you have dealt with fame, and mm. huge fame, because it's worldwide, mm -hmm. um, so well. Thank you. Is that your parents? Is that your upbringing, yeah. or is it just you? Gosh, it's not, it's not <laughs> just me. Um, my parents are the, the best thing ever. I mean, I'm best friends with them. Um, I, I, you know, I think when I turned 18, I kind of looked at them and was like, you're going to still come with me, right? You know, I always, always needed a chaperone, and yeah. I was like, I, I, I still need you. So they travel everywhere with me, um, and they are a huge part of my life and the reason that I am where I am today. Oh, it's brilliant, because, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen like that, so no. it's, it's really good. But you're a wise girl. You're, you're wise, and that, that helps as well. That, that really does. Have you done the audiobook for this as well? I have. Ah, how I was have. that? It was really emotional, and just to be able to kind of read back some of my grandmother's stories and tell them the way she used to tell me, it was emotional and yeah. really therapeutic, especially mm. after losing her. So I, was, I found a lot of, uh, you know, healing through from it. I can understand that, absolutely. Yeah. You've got such a rich life because you've been studying online, I know, and, and, you know, very busy, but that's something that you will go back to to get your degree? Is that something you want to do? Yes, it's something I'm interested in because I'm... Um, I, I shockingly I can't believe I can say it but I'm a UNICEF ambassador and so I take that role really seriously and so I wanted to go back to school just to be able to learn more about economic and cultural issues um, just so I could go, you know have that information and a broader perspective so that I could really bring something to the role. See this is great because again you're not just putting your face to something right. you're actually thinking about it and going right okay that's a huge honour. Yeah, yeah. Now you, because of the person you are, I need to justify that. Yeah. I need to make sure that I know enough about that. Exactly. I think, yeah, I think that's uh, something that also my parents, uh, uh, you know, 
put in me because I think they were like, if you are passionate about this, you need to know about mm. it. And that's with everything I do. Um, so I'm, I'm even with when I wanted to get a dog, they were like, you need to, <laughs> you know, you need to do everything you can in order to take care of this dog. And so, of course, yeah. you don't just have a dog, though. If you not got a house full of animals, it's not about 10 pets. <laughs> oh, Luke. That, that's my baby. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Her name is Winnie the Poodle. Um, Obviously. No, I was watching the dog fashion earlier. Yes. I'm all about that. Although, you know, it has to be like, you know, accessible and good for them. That's me with my rabbit. Yep, I have a <laughs> pony and a donkey and all things. I'm, I'm, I love animals and uh, I almost didn't get here because I think I saw Vogue's dog. Yes. And I didn't get here on time because of that. The, yes. The fa he looked at me and was like, touch me. And I, was I like, know, oh, yeah. we've all been fighting over that dog. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if Vogue gets away. Yeah. <laughs> with, with that wee doggy because, oh, for goodness sake. And look, congratulations. I know you're getting married, which is wonderful. Thanks. So congratulations to that. And your father in is going to be John Bon Jovi. That is so. Uh, you have to get him to sing at your wedding. Oh, come <laughs> oh, gosh. on. If you've got your, if you've got your father-in-law like that, it has to happen. <laughs> How are the preparations? All going well? All fine? Yes. Sorted? All very, very exciting. Oh, it's really crazy. exciting. You've found somebody to spend the rest of your life with. That's yeah. amazing. And because he'll know about what the crazy world is like. Yes, And absolutely. that helps as well. There's a lot it? of insight there. It's a lot exactly. of insight. Exactly. Yeah. And you, the great thing about you is you just do it. You go on with your life. Yeah. You prove that you can be incredibly successful but still have a private life as well. I think, yeah, that's yeah. really important and something my parents value and my family value and my fiancé values. So it's great. Yeah. Millie, a joy. Thank you. An absolute joy. Um, congratulations on 19 Steps. Thank you. Can't wait to see what you do next and also can't wait to see the movie or the giant because there's so many stories. Yeah. It could be like a 28-part Netflix <sighs> Gosh. Huge thing. Who knows? <laughs> I've been there, done that. Let's just yeah. say that. <laughs> it's been very well too. Very well Thank too. You. Thank you so, so much. Thank and you. Millie's book, 19 Steps, is out right now. Love blooms in the darkest days. It certainly does. Thank you.